Did it. Everybody. Yay, it worked. Awesome. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. I look very red now. I don't know why. I'm not this red. It's because you signed in. Because... Yeah, Zoom Zoom made updates to the AI um, generation, so probably it's trying to make you a little. <laughs> very pink, very rosy. What about go up to that? Do you have that Spring. Green, that green thing in the top of, like, up by Zoom? Mm. The top of your bar. Yeah. Do you okay. have, like, a green, like, camera? No, I do not. You know, like, where it says... You know, oh, on the, oh, wait, one second. Just on your Mac. Like, where yes. it says your... It's red because it says I'm in a meeting, but yeah. Is oh. that settings? Is that going to let me do it? Yeah, like, time? see how, like, I can change my studio light? Oh, look at you. That's easy. Okay, let's see here. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> We have stuff to do. It's just really bothering me that I look so pink. Okay. Background and effects. Oh, here we go. All right. Is that better? Not really. Yeah, it is. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, no, <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's that's, there you go. That's good. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you for. Yeah, Zoom has like um, very, very minute updates going on around and features that you'll just bump into them. When you do not know, I don't like that. Well, that looks better. It honestly, <laughs> yeah. Like, well, you're not like you were really, really right. pink before. <laughs> I mean, I naturally have like a pink hue anyway, but no, yeah. it was it was <laughs> like <laughs> looked like you had a fever. <laughs> I appreciate you all supporting my vanity. On this uh -huh. I don't have any makeup on. Yeah, it's one of those days. So yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get. Okay. Let's do this. Now I'm going to share my screen. So I'm my face is off. <laughs> All that work for nothing. All that work for nothing. I'll just be tiny now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. How's it going? This is the DEI meeting, in case you didn't know. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, if you haven't added your name, looks like a lot of people have not. If you would like to, you can tell us how your day is going better than yesterday. Yesterday was, I don't know what was going on. If it was like the planet alignment, I don't know, Mercury's in retrograde or something. Yesterday was terrible, but today's better. So there we go. Only go up from terrible. It can only go up. You're right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's jump into it. I, um, if you need the, also, if you need the minutes, just ask in the chat. I should just move this over here so I can see. Okay. I'm also back on my big screen, which I like, so I can see everything again. Um, yeah, so I wanted to bring this up. Henrietta sent this to me yesterday based on a conversation we had last week about, we were talking about this, I think, and we were asking uh, the community about, and, and Brian, um, how we could be more inclusive in chaos itself. So Henrietta, and I don't know if Henrietta, no, she's not on the call. Um, Henrietta sent me these notes because if you all don't know, Henrietta is an actual medical doctor and she's amazing and still contributes to uh, chaos, even though the health is not the health that she thought it was when she joined and she's still stuck around and she's a badger and a project manager and everything else. So she sent me this doc from just like a, a doctor's perspective of how we can just be mindful of um, inclusivity and accessibility in the chaos project. I think that some of this if not all of this will be captured in our accessibility audit that's going on right now. Um, but I just thought it was very awesome of her to just take a minute and write these down. And I really like this. I really like this a lot. Um, and I don't know how, if we need to change anything in chaos based on this, um, but I just think it's really important. And I, I didn't know what we wanna do with this. Do we wanna put like do a blog post? Do we wanna publish this somewhere? Do we wanna just, Keep it in our pocket or or what I just want to bring it to this meeting just to show everybody and get your your feedback. Uh, for the DEI audit that we did, you know, with like Sela and Christy and Justin, yeah. um, we did a blog post, didn't we? Or no, it was off of the the survey because we did yeah. the from that we did the survey and then did a blog post that was a response to what people had recommended. Yeah. or talked about in that survey. Yeah. 
Um, so, I mean, this could be something similar to that, you know, kind of saying, you know, as we continue to reflect on ways to improve inclusion within the chaos project, here are a couple other things that have been brought to our attention. Um, and, but we'd, ha we'd have to like think about what we're doing in terms of say affordability. And I'm guessing that means like, it's like easy. the tools we use, I would assume. Yeah. It's like easy to... using, yeah, free open source tools. If we if we can use open source tools, we we will. Um, but just like allowing people to join and not have to pay for anything yeah. special, like yep. um, as far as tools go, I I think that's how it would apply here. Okay, or even things like we cover the cost of like Slack's not free for what we have, but I think the way we pay for it, we don't make people pay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we try to, you know, offer travel help when we can, that kind of thing as mm -hmm. also. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's obviously a big expense. Let me just copy this and drop these in here. Um, using free or open source tools. Yeah. Is there anything else we do? Mm -hmm. I think that's probably about it. I mean, yeah. I don't know what else we could do. Yeah. Internet enabled devices. I mean, everything we use is like Google Docs. Yeah, we do this, but I don't know. I don't know how we would take this offline. Um, Unless we want to count like the regional chapters and like the regional meetups that are in person that are offline and you know, but that's that you shouldn't use internet enabled devices that you should provide some other way to get oh, yeah. access to our material. That's what I was thinking that it would mean like don't require internet enabled devices 100% but okay, maybe it's maybe it's something different. I. Maybe I, should, maybe I should connect with Henrietta since she's not here today. Ask. A little more context around these. <clears throat> well, I mean, di digital literacy training, I think we're trying to move this forward with our education stuff. Yep. Agreed. Um, quality technical support. You know, I think we... It usually, I think that comes in Slack. And we're, I feel like we're, I, I feel that's probably not good, but like, I feel like we're responsive yeah. to, in trying to identify the right people to answer the questions. Especially when it comes to like, um, for software. Mm -hmm. Let me just add but even like honestly, the things you're doing with the Badger orientation, yeah, I mean that's technical in the sense that they have to have access to GitHub and know how to work issues. Yeah, true, true. self-sufficiency i'm looking at that last one applications online content uh, i think this is i mean i just immediately think of documentation this is always a work in progress and like those uh you mentioned yesterday like flyers or handouts yeah <clears throat> I would say onboarding newcomers also might fall into this. Yeah. Uh, to encourage self sufficiency, participation, and collaboration. Yeah. We're trying to get people to the point where they can actually contribute and, co and collaborate and feel like they, you know, belong and know what's going on. Mm -hmm.
Does anybody else have um, things that we're missing on here or thoughts about this? Peculiar, Enoch, Anita? If not, that's totally fine too. Okay, well, I'll ask Henrietta what this means in particular. Like, should we provide them or avoid them or what that means? That sounds good. Maybe I'll uh, see if Henrietta wants to write one with me. That would make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think that'd be awesome. And we could, I feel like we that's could a pretty... it here too. I mean, yeah, we could. Um, yeah, we could. I feel like that's a perspective that a lot of open source projects don't have. So I think that's great that you took the time to do this. It's amazing. I agree. And I think again, the rest of this will be covered in the accessibility audit, but um, we'll just copy it here. Well, that's okay. Yeah. You have it linked. Yeah, I do. I feel like this is also another topic that we would want to blog on when it's all finished. Mm -hmm. For sure, the whole audit itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, everybody. We could probably move on. Um, I just wanted to let people know in case you missed the community meeting yesterday. We are going to submit a day long, I think it's a day long workshop on, uh, maybe not, actually, I'm not sure, uh, to Grace Hopper Conference, which is um, designed to, if you're not familiar with the Grace Hopper Conference, it uh, promotes women specifically in technology and open source, uh, women and non binary folks. So um, they're doing a virtual day. Uh, I don't think they're doing any in-person conference this year. They're doing it all virtually. So chaos, uh, we were asked to provide a day long uh, agenda of activities and different topics to present on. So we are going to do that. So I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, we're going to um, submit that after right after this meeting. I'm meeting with uh, the woman from Grace Hopper and we're going to submit the abstract together. So she's going to help me <laughs> make sure I cross all my T's and dot the I's. Um, and it'll cover um, some DEI topics, like how we try to include uh, non-PR contributions and what that means for us, just to give others some ideas on what they can do. And then also software um, for Augur and Grimoire Lab, they're doing some workshops on those. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe, I was thinking about this yesterday, maybe in the proposal or when the day occurs, like mm -hmm. leave the attendees with, um, you know, here's our uh, like newcomer, uh, what do we call it? The one that's before the Tuesday. Newcomer uh, hangout? Newcomer yeah. hangout, yeah. Um, like come there and let's continue this conversation because then we can, it's one thing to do a online day and typically everybody leaves and you just kind of go back to the things that you were doing before. Yeah. So a uh, more deliberate effort just to invite them to that. And I don't think there needs to be a new meeting or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, Oct um, I want to say October 4th. I don't know what day of the week that is. So just, if, they want, if they want to continue working with yeah. the Kids project, this is the first place to show up. Where to go, sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I don't know, um, I know Sophia also had some ideas mm -hmm. uh, around some uh, some other technical aspects of uh, metrics and health metrics. Okay. So I need to go look at that abstract again and see what she added. Um, okay. 
but I don't know if we'll need like volunteers. I'm not actually really sure what this is about because I kind of was traveling. I missed like the whole conversation. So all I saw was my name and I'm the point of contact. So I'm like, okay, I will figure it out eventually. But um, I, if I was just going to say, if we do need volunteers, if anybody in here would probably be okay or maybe want to help with that day, that would be great. I don't know if we need that, but if we do, I yeah, will. That'd be great. Cool. Okay. The next one on our list is to work on the code of conduct enforcement metric. So I didn't know if we wanted to take some time and do that. That's what yeah. we said last time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do we have it a oh, great. There, there it is. Perfect. And for those who have not um, developed metrics with us before, what we usually do is put set this to suggesting. We take about, I don't know, 10 minutes and we work in this doc, everybody together, uh, just add your suggestions for what you would change and then we'll go through them and uh, accept them. Usually we accept them, I don't, I mean, it's very rare that we don't. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And we'll keep the recording going because sometimes people do have comments or questions while we're working, but if you're watching the recording, you can just zip past this probably. <laughs> it's interesting, but... Um... I don't, I need access, like. Right. Done. Okay. This disclaimer, Matt, is that new or is that old? Old. Okay. This feels like the old template too. I'm gonna have to make some, we can get capture the content here, but we have to update it a bit.
How are we doing, everybody? <clears throat> I did not look and see how long it's been. So. I'm good. This required, I think this needed a lot of work. Yeah, I think it might need more too. I think so too. So do we want to just wait until we are kind of done and then look through all of the changes at once? Mm, how about maybe I could take a look at kind of just accepting and cleaning up any of okay. the changes and then we can continue to just work on it next week as well. I know there were some areas I did not know what they meant, so I just put a comment like I don't know what this is. Fair. Well, and there was also like even if you scroll up like towards the question. Yeah, there were things about like running at scale trust volume. I didn't know what that was. I, I don't know either. I'm guessing it was because it seems like this came from Mozilla. So they probably do have yeah. a lot of reports than like we, we would. Um, but I don't, I don't know if that. I just wasn't comfortable. Like I just didn't know enough to yeah. be able to write towards it. And That's I feel all. like if you're, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I mean, we're we're putting a whole lot into this metric, into this metric. Honestly, like, do they have a process? Is it understood? And can it run at scale and take care of all these things? Like, that's just a lot. I don't know. That is a lot. And I'm, you know, we've had discussions about code of conduct enforcement before. Like, I've had conversations with folks that having a code of conduct is like a necessary part and enforcement's a necessary part too but enforcement is where you can get into some real like hr related issues about how that's expressed a violation what the like what the response is and i just i think it can be real touchy sometimes for a lot of people yeah, agreed um I was also trying to find my notes. I can't find them right now. Um, I think Anita was in that training from Sage. Oh about yeah, yeah that stuff. So there yeah, was yeah. some things I wanted to add just from that, but I can't find my notes right now. Um, but oh, I, you nice. know, also too, like it said down here <clears throat> somewhere about the staff, and that made me think uh, exactly what you were just saying, Matt, about like, oh yeah, if people are paid from their company to work on open source, like that's just a whole nother level of like, oof. And then they get removed from a community. Yeah. And like rightfully so removed from a community because it violated the code of conduct. Yeah. But like, now it's like their job and they can't do their it's... job. So like So yeah. what did what did the did the training say anything about that? Not really. It didn't um Sage really didn't go into legal things. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel like at that point you definitely would need to have some kind of lawyer involved either from the company side or project side, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, cause that is um, getting a little bit, it's way more complicated than just like, oh, here's this person. We don't want them in our community anymore. Right. So that's yeah. like above our pay grade. You know what I mean? I like, so, yes, yes. So maybe somewhere in this metric, we say that <laughs> in, in sort of those terms, like there are like additional issues that need to be considered here as well so yeah i wonder where we put that like an implementation maybe maybe or, yeah probably an implementation or description i don't know let's i'll just clean this up and we can okay. come to it next week and that that issue i'm not going to forget that issue because it's i think a really important one yeah especially if we're thinking about putting this in the next round of badging mm -hmm. yep what we might do too i just thought of this is once we get it to a point where we're happy with it maybe just have sage look at it and see if there's anything that that they would add you know that'd be great i don't know if they have time for that but <laughs> that I know they, love they, they love chaos so they might they might be willing to do that yeah or victory i know victory has participated oh yeah so mm -hmm. sure okay cool thanks everybody for those who have not worked on a metric before how does it feel you feel like you accomplished something today. Yeah.
you could easily bump into the meeting and everyone's quiet and you're like, what's happening in this meeting? <laughs> very quiet, very studious. <laughs> you look busy, but quiet. Is my mic on? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, everyone. That's exactly how we do all the metrics. That's a, that's the process we use. So slowly <laughs> surely on all of them. Yep. AI not to clean up. And we will look at this again next week. Uh, yeah, I, I'll clean it up. I'm not going to be at this call next week. I'm heading to Indianapolis, but I'll have it ready before the meeting. Okay. okay. All right. Shall we move on? We have about six minutes left. I'm not sure who put this on. Did me. you put on that? Okay. Yeah, so just I, I'd like to maybe be a little bit more like vocal about encouraging people to consider project badging and the dei.nd file, so maybe just a LinkedIn post. And honestly, if I think if people have questions about it, we should just invite them to this meeting. We don't need another meeting, <laughs> but, but yeah, just, read. Read. you know, mm -hmm. I think just coming to this one would be great. And if people are here, we could easily use, you know, that the first 15 minutes to answer questions that people have. It's yeah. kind of like what we do for uh, like chaos con. Like we could have a, a, a if, if people are new and clearly have questions on the EI.MD file, we could take care of that at the beginning of the meeting and then say, you know, if you don't want to stick around for all oh, these things, yeah. feel free to hop off. I'm wondering if we, I don't think we've had new, um, pro, new badges issued in a few weeks, right? Like no, we had that first rush, and yeah. that's kind of why I want to continue to promote it. Yeah. Should we follow up with GitLab? I know they had um, talked to some of their projects who were working on the DEI.MD file. Should we like just follow up with GitLab too to see? Yeah, I mean that's easy enough to do. Just yeah. like I'm thinking of like Drupal, and there were some others in that initial blog post that we haven't seen yet. Yeah. And I know that they had to go through a bunch of you know authorization with their leadership and you know kind of sign off on it that's so i'm sure they're probably still discussing but yeah and i think daniel would just be the person to follow up with yeah. maybe i'll just ping him in slack so do you want to maybe i know we only have four minutes but just like write uh I'm so bad at writing posts, but <laughs> you know, for uh, LinkedIn. Yeah. Yeah, me too. See, I can't even start it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to? <laughs> How can I get you in this uh... today? What do I do? <laughs> yeah. Um, bad at marketing. I don't know. So anyway, somebody write something. <laughs> See, I was hoping we would get a new project, and that's a reason, right? Like that's a reason. Like, hey, congratulations to this new project. They got a badge. Yeah. By the way, if you want your badge, here's what you do. But we <laughs> just say that you know we've badged. Us and GitLab, and maybe like two others. Because we just started. So bad. Okay, let's have somebody we else write that. Let's include your project on our list. Do you want to be there too? <laughs> Come hang out. Uh, Let's see, hold on. I usually say like, in case you missed it, Blah, blah, blah. 
<laughs> I would, like, I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's right. That's what I usually say. Just so it's like. I don't know. Something like that. We'll figure. I'll I'll work on that a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> that sounds good. Come to our new event or our new project badging website. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just check out. It's just badging.chaos.community, right? Yeah, it is. I was just going to link straight to the project badging one. Anyway, something like that. Okay. Do you want me to just, I can just post that. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Makes sense. All okay. Right. Simple and straightforward. Okay. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're so productive today. I love it. All these things. See, and we took the entire time again. Yay. You're Even like the we... professor that says we're going to get out early, <laughs> and we never get out early. We never do. <laughs> and I'm the student who keeps raising their hand. That doesn't <laughs> the tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you later. All right, see you. Bye. Bye.